and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Why are you so much tanner this week? I think, I don't know, I was in the sun a little, some, apparently it rained. outside and things. Yeah. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Oh man, what are we going to get this week, you guys? What is our type advantage going to be? Fireball, 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 fireball. Oh, it's salad energy, not fireball, although that chant reminded me of college. <laughs> I can see why. Yeah, I get no that. Doubt. I understood that reference. All right, what are our randomly chosen common chase cards for the day? The randomly chosen common chase cards today are going to be Makuhita, Magnemite, and Satoddle. Satoddle! Little, little Satoddler over there, a little baby whale just waddling around. You know, I feel like we see a fair bit of the Makuhita, which makes me feel like we will see none of them today. Yeah, right. These like I, th I feel like the Satoddle shows up a lot, too, and it's like, yeah, today they'll just not be present at all. None whatsoever. Also, we're going to change the skateboards. We no, finally got a no, new one. No, no, no. What happened? It's gonna come off the wall one day. Those things are hanging on by like hopes and prayers. And screws. Alright, you ready? Yep. I almost did it that time. I'm gonna drop the box. It's better than dropping the ball. Well, that's true. There are no balls in this sport. There's not, yeah. <laughs> Those Pokeballs. There are Pokeballs. There are Pokeballs. <laughs> One of the most iconic yeah. artifacts of the whole sport. Yeah. It's on basically every card. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Uh, this is going to be the box. This is the box. Jay has a vlog. I called it on the vlog beforehand. Look on this camera right here. Right Magic here. Magikarp box. I'm feeling it in my soul. You're feeling it in your soul? Look, now we're filming you guys. Wave to the camera. Everyone say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Bye, vlog. Dibs on first pack. Ha! Oh, man, all right. So our first pack today is going to Kernak. Kernak McClagan. Kernak McClagan. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in on the card here, Mick. I think it's like I'm surprised we haven't done it by now already. Yeah, Kernak right. McClagan, who has three points on the season so far. No type advantage on this pack. None whatsoever. We've got the Tad Bulb, the Frigibax, the Tandem Mouse, the Knockly. Wait, what is, what is our type of man? No, we're doing good. Gotharita, the Haunch Crow, the Pseudo Wudo, the Palo Sand. Sand does not score, the Tandem Mouse does not score, oh, and the Sableye will wow. score. Wow, a single point for Kernak McClagan here. Not really the cleanest cut. I mean, you can visibly see that there's God, more you're silver right. on this side than this. That's like a PSA like six or something. Yeah, embarrassing, wow. although, but uh, nobody tell Kernak McClagan that, and it's it's totally fine. Nobody was confounded at all. No, definitely not. All right, next up we have Maddie. 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 Maddie also coming in today with just three points and did the Disney College program back in 2016. I gotta tell you, I wish I knew. I know. About the Disney like, College like program. I Let me tell you what, I will be telling my kids a lot about the Disney College program. Yes, it like, possible. guys, do it. It's just a really good, if you're, especially if you're gonna work in customer service at all. Right? <gasps> oh, here we go. Okay, all right, Maddie's go. already got at least two points on the board. Oh, there's the Relor, that'll score. The Quaxley, the Tinka Tink, the Pink Kirchen, Raichu, got the Tell, Arc de Bax, Nimble scores, Pineco scores, scores, and, and Abomas. Look at all of the grass. This, wow. This will be, so we have one, two, three, four, four five, five times, times two, two is ten. ten. Wow, that is something out of nothing. If it weren't for the type advantage, this would have been a one point. Pack. Wow, but instead, instead it was it basically got ten times multiplier. Very impressive, Maddie. Very nice. You can tell Look at that that, that uh, Disney internship totally paid off. It definitely did. You learned a lot about grass down there, apparently, like a lot of people do in college. <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot of college references in today's episode. We're a family show. No doubt. I'm talking right. about lawns, people. Get your head out of the gutters. All right, let's see. So we'll set that aside. We got our teardrop energy to get things started. We got the watch roll, the tinka tink, the shrudel, the glimmit, the, oh, the floor gato, the mouse hole, the tinka tough, the azumarill will not score, the tinka tough will not score, and the tinka ton. Tinka -ton. So Goodness. Just two point pack. Oh wait, there. no. I'm sorry. Look at this though. We had the wait. we had a critical hit. Oh, we did. What do you know? Okay, so it was just going to be a two point pack. I think I forgot to announce who's playing this round. It's the Bourbonator. The Bourbonator. Bourbonator is up. So what do we have? Then one, two times. So it's a four point pack. A four point pack. Well, there you go. There we go. Better than nothing. And we got a Tinka Tink, a Tinka Tough, and a Tinka Ton. Well, you got a full evolution line. There we go. And two of one of them. <laughs> that was a real, uh, that real, was a like, yeah. Tinka Ton pack. The sorting machine must have been broken that day. And they were like, oh, 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 oh. Whoop, That's whoop, what I imagine. Whoop. I literally picture one card going down a conveyor belt at a time, like, kind of like how, uh, um, like each card is individually put in. Like, yes, but you know how airports, at least what Toy Story 2 taught me, is yeah. that there's like a conveyor belt system that sends stuff every which way based on where it needs to be? Exactly. I imagine that's the reality of it. And also that's how every single individual card falls out, and then it's like, it's like mm, this pack, this pack, this pack, this pack. Man, that'd be wild if that's how it was. It would be wild, yeah. yeah. And very inefficient, probably. Probably, yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff flying over. Next up we have Games Bun, coming Games in Bun. buns blazing. As per you. As per you, as always. How's old games doing in today's today's episode? All right, Games Bun's uh, partner collects Pokemon cards, so uh, he joined to help them collect. Yay! Okay, and look at that. We got the Citadel oh, right man. off the right off the bat, so that's going to be our uh, one of our randomly chosen common chase cards. We got the Fue Coco, the Watchroll, the Tinka Tink again, the Grusha, the Prime Ape, the Miss Magus, the Tandem Mouse will not score. The Tinka Tink will not. Man, look oh, at this. Oh, critical hit! Tinky, oh my gosh! Again. Another Tinka Tink critical hit! How about that? Oh my gosh! And on what the Hydrage. I told you it's the conveyor belt, man. It is, yeah. yeah. It was it was on it was going wild today. That's gonna be another four point pack. So back to back four point critical hits. That's wild. Man, I can't believe you said back to back four point packs. You know, it was right there. Just right there. Yeah. The rhyme. Oh, you're right, I yeah. missed it. Yeah. But sorry about that, y'all. All right, next up we have Ariel Stormborn. Stormborn. Coming in. Everyone so far has had like three points coming into the, the round today, so. We're uh, hoping for something big to break the mold here for these guys. This is the week. This, this is, is the week. week. Fireball! There we go, yep. Yeah. Slowpoke, Litleo, Rockruff, Palmy, Flamigo, Paldantaurus, the Skip Bloom scores, the Passimian doesn't, the Practice Studio doesn't, the Spear Tomb does. Good against Mew. Yeah, as, as ever. Yeah, you took my, took my fun fact. I have like one exactly, and it's related to Spirit Tomb and Mew. And, yeah. <laughs> and you just like, you swept in and took it away from me. Sorry, next time I'll let you sit. I'll Thank let you, you sit. I appreciate next it. Time. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to hold him to it. All right, next up is Smubble. Smubble. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of an aggressive sounding name, really. Have you guys ever heard like the fact that you can't say bubbles angrily? Try it. Bubbles. Bubbles! Like, you can't you can't be like mad at bubbles. Ooh, oh, salad can't be mad energy. at that either. You can't be mad at that. Oh, look at that. We got a Bramlin right off the top. Man, so we got the, Shanks, the, nimble. the nimble, the Mashif, the Palmo, the Gotharita, the Haunch Crow, the Tadbulb will not score. The Rabsco will score, as well as the Mimikyu. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four times two is gonna be eight points. Eight points. There Man, we go. People putting up some numbers today already. It feels like that's gonna bring uh, some bubbles up to twenty on the season. What does that do in the overall scoreboard? About uh, ties with. Uh, our couple for 11th. Okay, so that moment. is, yeah, that could, that, that puts you in like solid eighth place range, possibly. Absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly where you're floating around at the moment. Good position to be in. It is. All right, next up is Tempest Blade. The Tempest. Who's coming in now. Tempest Blade is uh, one of these last place contenders. They only have one point and 11 cents on that point. Okay, so we're about to see whether or not Tempest Blade can maintain so we that want, minimal status. We want low points in this pack. Right, oh, but so right out of the gate, the Makahita. Oh, this is the Magikarp. We want the rare version of this in someone's pack today. Can we find it? The Heracross scores, the, the Relore scores, scores, the Frigibax does not, the Hydreigon does. It's going to be a four point pack overall for Tempest Blade. So it's probably going to take you pretty well out of that last out place. Out of last contention. place. Not exactly what they wanted to see, unfortunately, because five points doesn't really put you in a. Uh, podium position. Not that it's not possible. Obviously, anything can happen. But we do have Ek Sko currently uh, as our last place leader, if you will, with two packs and two points. So yes, and fourteen e cents. And fourteen cents. So Ek Sko going to be the person to beat at the moment. Right. I mean, fourteen cents. That is low. Even that is if low. even if 
Um, what? Tempest Blade had pulled a single point. There's almost no way for them to have stayed in last place. Almost, yeah. Yeah, you're Man. absolutely right. That is crazy. So, uh, EK Sko, crushing it. Just because they want me to keep saying their name. I think so. All right, so who we got next? Next up, we have Berkeley Comstock. Berkeley Comstock. They've got three points on the season as well. Coming out of a 28-point season last season, though, that's pretty solid. All right, let's see here. So we'll set the code card aside. We got our eyeball energy there. We got a Shrudel, the Glimmit, the Bramble, Bramble will score. score, the Shinx, the Bramble, Bramble Gas, Gas. Will score, the Toxicroak, the Crocolore, a Tinka Tink again. We got the Mashiff will not score, and, and the Spirit Tomb, Tomb, which, by the way, in case you're playing against Mew, is very competitive. Wow, yeah, man, wow. thank brand, you for that fun fact. Brand new information. Thanks for letting me do it. Absolutely. <laughs> so that's three points right there. <laughs> three points right there for Berkeley Comstock for six on the season. I'm so glad it came back so quickly. It did. <laughs> it did. Next up is Lauren, who has a name of the wind themed office from home. We met Lauren at RTX earlier this year. We Great sure meeting did. Nice you to meet in you, person. Lauren. Let's see if I can pull some fire for you here. By the by, if you're looking for another way to meet us in person, Jay and I are going to be doing a live episode of our podcast, Popcorn Culture, at GoFest in Roanoke, Virginia on October 14th, Saturday, October 14th. It is free to attend. Uh, and the night before, we're going to have a trivia event. Yes, we will. Uh, at the Grandin Theater here in Roanoke. That'll be $20 a ticket to yes. get in. Uh, link to uh, both of those events in the description down below. Yes. All right, let's see what we have for Lauren here. Teardrop Energy. But will it be a pack of teardrops? We're about to Only find time out. We'll tell the Tarantula scores, the Dendra, Palace, and Raichu fighting Ole. Ooh! Oh, look at that Ice Q. That is awesome. And the, the, the Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Wow, oh, I man. love the Ice right. Q. We, this is the first time today we had to go to the to the yeah, sheets you're of paper right. number 205 on the set. That is an adorable card, by the way. It is. I like how he's got the, the head in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, look, and this one, yeah, that one and that one. Yeah, that's oh, great. So cute. All right, number, let's see, 205. This is going to be worth $8.41. We'll round up to nine. So 9, 10, 11 point pack there for Lauren. Wow, indeed we pulled some fire for it. Or we pulled ice, I guess. That's true, that's yeah. true. All right, there we go. That's a beautiful card headed your way. Man, the next set has a, uh, an alt art ice cube. Uh, EX card in it, and it, I pulled it uh, last week. It is awesome. It is such a cool looking card. Is it competitive? Um, How's it going against Mew? It, let's see. Against Mew, it's a, it's a, so it's a water type Pokemon, but it has like it's a fire type because it's terrestrialized. Oh. So it's not like it's that means you can um, power it up with water energy, but it's a fire type Pokemon. So you could throw it in like Chin Pow or something because its attack paralyzes, which is pretty good. There you go. Not bad. You can two hit anything at that point. Um, next up is Johnny. I think you're up. Oh. I, just pulled, I, think I think I just pulled one. Johnny! Johnny, the casino pit boss. Oh yeah, okay. Exactly. Okay. All right. I always imagine that Johnny is like like cracking knuckles, He's you know? Like, here like, we go. I'm watching you. There we go. Wazowski. Metal energy. For Johnny, Rockruff, Palmy, Dieno, Kilowattrel, Azumarill, the Vespa Queen will score, the Tarantula scores. Palmy and the Backscalibur. So that would go right in there with your, you know, um, your Chim Pal and your Ice Skew, I suppose. There we go. But just so gonna be a three point pack overall. So back to back three point packs. Nice, nailed it. Nailed, nailed it. it. Man, today is all about <clears throat> duality. Yeah, it's like do it again. We've had a double Spear Tomb, double critical hits. Next up we have Charcopple. Oh, Charcopple. Oh, Charcopple's I... near the top, right? They have 20 yeah. points so 20 far. 20 points in 11th place. <clears throat> So they were tied today, but about to pull ahead again. We got the Metal Energy there, the Slack Off, the Whooper, the Pikachu, the Kufant, the Calamitous Wasteland, the Primate, the Grusha, the Spiritito will score. score, the Miss Magus will not score. Oh, Ooh. the Tinkaton EX! So much Tinkaton in this episode. So, I told you, man, the conveyor. You're it's right, just, you man. Know, they knew this box. Number 240 on the <coughs> set. You always feel like it's a good sign when it's such a far back number. $6.99, so minimum oh. rounding, but uh, seven, seven points for that one. Eight, Eight points. there. That is going to put Charcopple at 28 points, which is good enough for fifth place overall. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, and that's honestly a, a fantastic position either, uh, you know, for if you ever wanted to just pull something really huge, like, yeah. a, like a lunge at first place. But also I could see a world where you get kind of back to eight. Yeah, back, yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. So yeah. good, strong position to be in. Awesome pull. Card headed your way. Bam. Nice tinker ton. All right, next up we have Sammy, Ben's probably sister-in-law. Probably. Oh, no. Okay, Sammy's got six cents on one point going here. So. Okay, okay. So Let's Sammy see. is a contender to, uh, against EK Sko, Sko yeah. in, that, in that 
last place race. Yeah, with six cents, they do stand a, a chance to pull uh, behind, I suppose, pull ahead. There we go, the Dark Tear Drop, that's what they want. They don't want Salad, they don't want any Grass Pokemon at all, which Let's is see, good, good proving so difficult. Good so far. Look, look at the full, we got a bunch of Goth the Tell cards. Good Gear so combo. far, we're doing so good. Krogan, the, the, the Tauros, the and oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! Wow, it is just one point on the Oricorio. This has got to be a very low value card. It is, seven cents on that one. Oh my gosh, seven so cents. They're at 13 cents. And what was EK Sko at, 14? Let's take a peek, let's take a peek. Hang on, scroll, scroll, scroll. EK Sko is currently sitting with 14 cents. Whoa! So Sammy pulls into last place. That's amazing. What a pull. What a It is pull. hard to dodge the grass Pokemon in this set. So that is, that's pretty tricky. That is very impressive. Yeah. And to get something that is like, not only just a single rare, but to be worth so little. To be worth so little, yeah. It's, it it's impressive. Been. That is, that's pretty good. All right, so I didn't think, uh, EK Skills probably didn't think he had much to sweat, but in fact, he did. Sammy now in the last place. Next up is uh, Monkey Bacon. Oh, this is a father-son team. Ah, oh, that's right, yes. There yes, we yes, go. Yes. Dad is bacon, son is monkey. Let's see another, uh, can we get some big points for father and son here? Let's see, so we got the Nimble right out of yep, the gate, right, the Mastiff, the Slackoff, the Wooper, the Pelipper, the Fletchinder, the Vigoroth, the Boss's Buster Orders percent. will score, yep. the Florgato will, will score, score. and oh, the, the Clawed Sire! Bam, what a fun pack! That is a fun pack, number 130 on the set. I suspect Clawed Sire is not a high value EX, unfortunately. It is unfortunately not, 74 cents. Uh, so, so there's gonna be a four point pack overall that brings them to seven on the season. However, we will still drop it in a sleeve for you for protective reasons Absolutely. and have it headed your way. Yeah, and you get the reverse hollow boss's orders. That's such a good card that too. That's really cool. There yeah. you go. Enjoy. I am. All right, let's see. Next up on the table, we have Xander. Xander. Xander coming in with six points on the day. They play guitar, flute, and piano. Man, okay, so I purchased the guitar like four months ago and then summer happened and yeah. I basically had no time to pick it up at all, but wow. I am like, I'm like at the point where it's like, okay, maybe I'll be able to start playing finally. There you go, um, raucous pummeling. There we go. Here we go, can Xander deliver a raucous pummeling? They have the Tarantula to score, the Mischievous, the Ice Cube. The Iono. Two point Iono, yep. The Knackle Stack, the Knackly, the Jigglypuff, oh, and the Gym Pal! Nice, Very there nice. we go. That looks pretty solid. The Gym Pal is definitely a competitive card, so I can see it being a little more valuable. It is indeed. Yeah. Um, $7.12 for the Gym right, Pal, so that's eight, eight. nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 points. Wow, excellent pack there, bringing them to 17 on the season. I feel like we're having a, a decent number of people scoring like like that, that average about 10 point area. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Yeah, I think the grass really helps a lot. There's just so many grass Pokemon. And then getting the Iono in there as well. Yeah. So well done, well done. Nicely done, Xander. All right, next up we have got Ryan. Ryan! Is it uh, me? I think so. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Do it, do it. The last Pokemon guy who played was Shield before... I don't know, never mind. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So we got the Dark Tear Drop energy there, the Crow Gunk, the Rookity, the Magnemite score. score wow. like that. Our yeah, first one like, of the day. I know, I was like, we haven't been missing chase cards, have we? Have we had a Makuhita yet? We have not had a Makuhita. No, I we did, we had one Makuhita, we haven't had a Satop. No, you're right. You're right. We had a no Makuhita. Didn't I say it from the beginning? You did. Okay. He's not going to see him. Okay. The Phalanx, the Mismagus, the Bramble, Bramble Gas will scores. score, the Superior Energy Retrieval, the Phalanx oh, again. Critical hit! Critical hit! Boom! There Fail. we go. The uh, Slack Off will not score, but the Hariyama! <laughs> there we go. Wow. As soon as we mention the Makuhita, the Hariyama shows up. That's how, hilarious. How about that? So, yes, we have a Chase card, uh, a Type Advantage, and, and a just card. a common rare. Yes. Yeah, so. With the Critical Hit, that's going to be times two, so six. Beautiful. Bam. Well done with the double phalanx. Dude, so many critical hits today. I know, I know. The conveyors. Yeah, the conveyor belts. This was the box. This was the one. Ba Boom. But hopefully that just means there's two mag. No, I won't claim two magic. I'm two magic carps. Wow, Ben. No, I'm not gonna go that bold. <laughs> All right, next up we have Ben C. Wait, but not you. But not me. No, not you. Okay. Yeah, they're new to the TCG. They just started playing uh, with uh, Sun, with it with their son Dominic. Taking from the events on the weekends. You love that Poke Dad life. All right, we have uh, Lightning Bolt Energy, Moschiff, Wingull, the Pineco scores, the Merrill does not, the Talon Flame, the Heracross, the Kilowatt Troll, the Super Rod. Oh, the Belly Bolt! Look at that guy! That's so fun! That's adorable! Got a, little bit, got a little belly sticking out there. Let's see, number 237 on the set. We're going to scroll down. $2.20 for the Belly Bolt. All right, so three, four, five points. 
for uh, Ben C, bringing them to seven on the season. Beautiful, there we go. Let's sleeve that up for Within you. a striking distance of the Big Steve Award, which is at, you need 15 points for it, so not impossible to get like an eight point pack. There we go, yeah, I could see that to close out the season. <clears throat> All right, next up we have Joe Cathan. Joe Cathan. Joe Cathan, who has just a single point as well. So they maybe want that like last point spot, but their one point is a 14 center. So they're already behind Oops. Sammy. There we go, so we got the Raucous Pummeling Energy, which I've accidentally just set aside. We got the Pikachu, the Kufant, the Krogunk, the Rookadee, the Oranguru, the Electrode, the Grafii, the Weavile, uh, will score, I'm oh. sorry. Oops, yep, that's my bad. Uh, the Bravery Charm will not score in the and boss's, boss's order. So two Man. points. Two points Man, there. not what they wanted. They would have oh, no. hoped for a single point and then maybe uh, hoping for other people to trip at the finish line. Three points, that's gonna be hard to recover from. That will be, especially for that last place. Especially because we got someone with 13 cents 13 overall. cents on two, two packs. packs. That's, that's wild, but I mean, it only takes one extra point for them to lose it. That's true, So that's true. You never know. Uh, but there does seem like there's always someone who does get that last place spot. All right, next up we have uh, Sailor. Sailor? Sailor. Well, I don't know, it says Earth or Sailor. Maybe Sailor Earth? Sailor Earth. Sailor Earth, like Sailor Moon, but Sailor Earth. Oh, I get it, yeah, is okay. That what it's going okay. For? Sailor Earth. I don't think there is a Sailor Earth, though. I think it's like, I don't think that's one of the girls. Mm. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe. This maybe is this is it. This is Sailor Earth. Sailor Earth. Okay. We're about to find out. Boom. All right, we have the Eyeball Energy, the Sneasel, the Gothita, the Mashjif. There's just so many of this card, the Mashjif. Wingull, Snowy Mountain, Tauros, Practice Studio, Crocolore, Pikachu, and. Oh, for a second, I thought we had a critical hit. Nope, just the Weavile there. So you got the full line, Sneasel Weavile, but just a single point pack for uh, Sailor Earth. There we go, but seven on their first pack of the season. So I think it's gonna probably uh, completely knock you out of that last place position. Eight points overall. Yeah, eight points overall, but you could still get into a big Steve spot with that. All right, next up we have Hannah. Hannah. Sid's little sister. Sid's from, little sister, yeah. That's yeah. why I always, Hannah. Hannah, oh, Hannah. Woody says it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of his like big interference moments. Ah, classic. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, Hannah plays Legends of Arceus with her three-year-old daughter. Hey, look at this, we got the- uh, Oh, the, the salad energy. There we go, and the combi right off the nice. top. I feel like we've had that every time so far. Is Has it? We have had like the first card be with the, whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, the, the Tropius. The Tropius will score, the Giraffe Rig, the Pseudo Wudo, the Pelipper, the Fletchinder, the Heracross and will this score. this is looking like a good pack. The Glamora Scores. will score, and the, the Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff will score. score. So Man, five so. scoring cards overall. And 10 points total after the multiplier. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five times two. Bam! You love to see that. You do indeed. Very impressive. Great showing for <clears throat> Hannah. Next up we have Pandito. Who is coming in. No, I'm sorry. What did I just say? No. <laughs> I was going to say. Wait. <gasps> sorry. I pulled up the card that the person after this is Pandito. This is Vincent. Vincent! What's up, Vincent? All right. You have two points on the season. Vincent's a break dancer, so get ready to break it down right now in celebration after this amazing pack, which is bound to be. You know, probably the best pack in the whole in the whole box. We're gonna find out. Okay. All right. We're Teardrop just, you know, energy. Teardrop Mankey, the Della Bird, the Love Disc, the Azumarill, the Bespaquins right there, the Ice Skew, the Giacomo. Oh! Ooh. Did I call it? That looks like an Illustrator Rare Wochien, followed by the Tinkaton, and oh, it's grass. So it's got one extra point on it. There we go. All right. Goodness me. All set. right. That was a heck of a pull. Well, let's just see. You're welcome, Vincent. Let's see, number 257 is going to be worth $11.03, so 12 okay, so, points. Oh, good rounding on that one. So 12, 13, 14. So I don't know if that's the best pack all day, but that, I mean, we haven't pulled that all season. That's, I think that was a pretty good call in your shot, guys. That is a really cool looking card, too. I like it. it. I mean, it's like how dark it is, you know? For, yeah. I feel like a lot of these cards have such like light tones, but yeah. that's like, it's kind of like... Eerie. Right? It reminds me of the uh, little cavern that Luke walks into on Dagobah when mm. he sees Darth Vader. Right? Maybe that's what he's really seeing. It's just Wochian. Yeah, but maybe maybe so. Yeah, Wochian is Darth Vader confirmed. Got confirmed. It. New head cannon. There you go. Well done, Vincent. Enjoy that card. All right, next up we now we have Pandito. Now we have Pandito. Here We're we there. go. We're there. Pandito with six points on the season. Here we go. Oh, this is the one who their, all their screen names are based off the five-year-old stuffed animals. I love and it. So Pandito is actually the red panda. Oh, oh Magnemite. Magnemite will score. Yep, right there. It's got the Phalanx, the Combi will score, the Jigglypuff, the Pincursion, the Zwilus, 
the mouse hole, the Vigoroth will not score. Oh, oh the gold super on man, we're like right in the, the hot spot I know, of the we box. Are aren't in the worth worm. Yes, okay. Look at that. Let's Bam. check out that gold super rod. Gold quick. super rod is 276. Awesome. You can almost put this in any deck. It's just a very useful card. You can just like put your discarded cards back into your deck so you can draw them again. Well, at 14 was our highest, this will now take over because that card alone is $13.77, so that card is worth 14. 14, 15, 16, 17 points on the pack. Very impressive. Bing's Prandito to 23 points on the season. A truly glorious card. Which, I don't know how that affects the rest of it. It's gonna bump. I, no, okay, so at the moment, if nothing changes, but of course it will, it means that Pandito and Emerald Phoenix would be tied for eighth place. Ooh. So it would be a uh, rare card value at that point, but of course you guys each have another pack left. So. That's right, okay. But the tie for eighth place is on. Next up is Lauren B. from Lauren Bachelor. B. Oh, probably. Yeah, probably. Let's see how they are going to fare in today's pack. They've got four points on the season. Boom, got metal energy off the top. Pineco will score. The Merrill, the Mankey, the Delibur, the Florgato so. scores. Quaxwell, big water pack here. Bramblin, the Sneasel does not. And another boss's orders all over the place today. Man, so four points on that pack. Four points on that pack. That's uh, two four point packs back to back. Nice. Thanks. Nice, Thanks. nice, nice. There we go. You're getting into a nice rhythm. Right. Maybe I should start break dancing. Hey, maybe so. Yeah. Have you ever considered it? Uh, you know, when I was in high school, it was like it, like in my mind, like I was like I, I would eventually learn how to do it. Like, like this, like, like this a, is an inevitability. Right. Like, yeah, break dancing's cool. I'll probably learn how to do it at some point. I don't know when it's going to be. Now I'm 35, um, so I, it seems like it's out of my. Uh, capabilities at this point. I'm currently dealing with a glute injury. Yeah, I got a glute injury, although we're sitting again, which is good. We are sitting again. you're keeping track of my injury report. Yeah, right, yeah, everybody's like, you know, how's, I don't how's know if I'm gonna be cleared for play next week or anything, but. There we go, all right, we got the Ragas pummeling energy, we got the Great Ball, weird to see a ball in this game. Yeah. The Hop Hip. <laughs> the the Makuhita, Makuhita, there it is! is the Pink Urchin, the Toxic Croak, oh, the Wrong Groove, the Electrode. I see something out there. Ooh, I think so too, the Clavel will not score. Oh, oh. the Arctibax! I love this line, this is so cool! That is so sweet. Man. Absolutely gorgeous, and the Weavile, That's so let's Weavile. check out the Arctibax, that feels like something cool. That Number does 209. feel. This is such like a popular um, line to be played. Uh, in the game because of Chem Pow right now. Man, I am surprised by this. $3.57 wow, for that so just card. Four, five, six, seven on the pack. Gonna bring, uh, oh, Lady Starlight. This is your pack. I didn't say your name yet. <laughs> Ladies, yeah, everybody's sitting there like, like who gets like, it? What? Whose pack is it? There we go. It's for Lady Starlight. That brings her to 12 on the season. Uh, which I don't think, yeah, it's not really, I mean, that's probably in a good spot to land for Big Steve, because you could, yeah, you could very easily get uh, yeah, just, all a two you, just a two-point pack. pack. Yeah, yeah that's that a is. really great position to be in, actually. All right, next up is Caitlin, who has got five points on the season so far. They love reading games and working on writing their own book. That's impressive. Writing a book is probably, like, top tier yeah. life goals for right. me. When I was in high school, I assumed that eventually I would write a book. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully it hasn't gone the way of my breakdancing career. No, I think you have a little bit more, a little bit more room left on that one. Yeah, right, I don't think my glute injury is gonna hold me back on that. Just my own creative prowess. The Iono scores, Knackle Stack, Corvus Squire, Low Kicks right there, Energy Retrieval, and the, the Gyarados. Gyarados. Sorry, so it's gonna be a five point pack. Yep, that is yep. correct. Five points. Bam! There we go. Five point pack, back to back. We need like a we need like an animation when they have back to back points or something. That's true. Yeah, Ethan, if you want to work on that, you know, just yeah, you know, well, throw it together. <laughs> It'll be no big deal, right? <laughs> yeah, no big deal at all. You got it. <laughs> Thanks. This is when this is when the editors are like, you can't just say stuff inside yeah. of the video. Yeah. Now I have to do, now I have to go do it. We're gonna walk out like three days from now, and Ethan's gonna be like. I'm working on your dumb back-to-back -back animation. Right, yeah. I don't yeah. know what this is supposed to look like. Oh, yeah. Did you have a vision here, or? No, 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 no. You have cre <laughs> complete creative liberty. Yeah. Just so, imagine you're break dancing but editing, you right. know? Slash writing a book at the same time. Exactly. There we go, we got the fireball energy off the top. This is gonna be for Heather Lynn. Yeah. Uh, the giraffe rig, the tropius will score, the great ball, the hop hip will score, the Titan. It is weird to see a ball in this game. The Corviknight, the Dun Sparse, the Quaxley, the Shanks will not score, and the Cerulege. Cerulege. There you go. Uh oh, Ben, it's three points back to back packs. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I, I just literally hope that he goes as low tech as humanly possible and it's yeah. just like comics ands like two threes just like <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. We'll see what he comes up with. I'm sure it's gonna look amazing. Next up we have Sydney who had three points last time. Uh, let's see if they can get three again. We're about to find out. This is our hairstylist from Texas who's been collecting Pokemon cards since six or seven years old. Man, you must have a ton. Unless you're like eight. Yeah, unless you're like eight. In Although, which case, you're I'm doing with great your, your hairstyling yeah. career. You know? It's fantastic. I love this, the Snowbird, the Fletching, the Ferengiraf. Ferengiraf. Why even bother? Why? <laughs> the Spine Ops, the Pacivian, the Knackle Stack. Oh, critical hit! And then the jump bluff! Nice! There we go. So that's gonna be uh, three times two is six. Beautiful! Six Very pack. cool. Man, so no back-to-back -back animation this time. No, 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 no. We're, we're safe there. We're safe there. The jump yeah. bluff, by the by, is the uh, lowest value rare card in the set. It only five cents. Yeah, so there you go. Well done. Way to get six <coughs> points out of the worst card in the uh, in the set. That's true. Yeah, the worst scoring card anyway. Worst scoring card, there you go. Yeah, next up is Dakota! Dakota! Dakota, who is uh, one of our mods, of course, over on uh, Discord and whenever we're doing like premiere chats or whatever. We'll see, uh, Dakota. We do we Dakota. We have not really pulled. We have well not. For... We have not done justice by Dakota just yet. Yeah, the, the curse of the yeah. mods is the what we call it. Yeah. The teardrop energy, the Diono. There's a magic card. Yep. The Slowpoke, the Litleo, the Vigoroth, the Pinkurchin, the Crocovore, the Watchroll, the Litleo. Oh, trickle it! Oh. On the Litleo. Oh, the Litleo, there we go, which we can now double your one point pack into a, a two point pack. Hey, Dakota! Oh. oh, man. On the critical hit, still only manages to scrape together two points. That's less points than they got last time, oh. uh, which is sad because last time they got three points. Well, so anyway, you know what? I'm sure she'll enjoy it. I'm sure I know. Who doesn't <sighs> love Glamora? The ace Pokemon of the, you know, um, Paldeo region champion. Right, yeah. Right, so you're welcome. Next up is Jesse. You know what's gonna be great is that uh, Dakota's gonna hate that Jesse's about to pull some serious fire and uh, it's just one pack off. You're gonna pull some heat. We're pulling some heat right here. We're gonna see, uh, Jesse's got three points on the season, so they're in a similar position to Dakota was, what I tell you. <laughs> Got, well, Dakota had a critical hit. Dakota did have a critical so hit. She had so the multiply that. anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's the Duds Bars, the Noibot, the Sprigatito. There's the Dakota's the pack. Egg. Yep, there's Dakota's pack. We've already beat him. The Moshif, the Sigoro, the Luminous Energy, and the Rabska. So, barely better. Uh, even with the multiplier, it's just going to be a four point pack, I believe. Yeah. Yep, there we go. So, okay. there you go. Well, you know what? It was still better. Twice as good, even. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Although, if we put a four point back, I think we would have still considered that the curse of the mods. I think we probably would have, yeah, yeah. indeed, indeed. All right, next up is Bryliv. All right, Bryliv. Long time power couple in the game. Been with us for a hot second yes. now. Arch nemesis of Dylan Clark. Ha! <laughs> you know, it's just sitting there watching, you know, cursing the name Bryliv. Probably. Probably. And look at this, we got the Makuhita. It's showing wow. up all of a sudden. The Pink Urchin, the Diano. The Magikarp, the Magikarp is taunting the us. The Pupitar, the Faulkner, the Saviper, the Wigglytuff will score. The Faulkner oh, will not. Critical but hit. It's a critical hit again! Look at that, then we Bam. got the Palmot to close it off, so. So, six points? Six points! Yeah, for one, two, three, two, two. Bam! There you go. Dylan Clark's like, what? Are you kidding me with this critical hit? Ugh! Ugh! That brings uh, Brylev to eight points on the season. Well done, well done. All right, next up we have Aaron B. Oh, it's a, uh, uh, this is their rookie season, Ooh. not their rookie day, not their okay. uh, debut okay. or anything. But they've got 10 points, so they did pretty good on their first, uh, their first pack there. Let's see how they're gonna do on their second. Can they have a nice repeat performance of 10 points or better? Lightning Bolt Energy. Got the Voltorb, the Clavel, the Dunsparce, the Noibat, the Reversal, the Therapeutic. A lot of energy in this one. A lot of going on. Choice Belt, Grusha, Dieno, and the, the Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Oh. Unfortunately, just a single point pack for you. Uh, no repeat performance. That's going to be 11 on the season. But it's still good for Big Steve. Great Big Steve placement. Yep. So Big Steve, Steve again has 13 points overall. We're looking for the lowest card value above 13, if that makes sense. So yeah. you want whatever. Like if, we, if it's a tie, we'll go to total rail card value. And and whoever has the lowest out of the total rare cards will win the Big Steve prize. Exactly. Yep, let's see. Uh, now we have Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Oh, Wilhelmina came in with 16 points on their first pack. I think I opened more packs than you today. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ben's being a little bit more assertive than usual. A little change of paste. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see. What do we got here? 
Water, 16 points. Oh, Wilhelmina is actually one of the scoring player. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, no, actually, no. Wilhelmina with 16 points is in seventh for Team Water. Oh, okay. So, so look into uh, look. look in, I have a feeling Wilhelmina is gonna is gonna charge forward. You on think this so? Pack. All right. Oh uh, yeah. Let's I think see so. it. Let's, Let's see. see it. We got the Rockruff, the Palmy, the Larvitar, the Sandy Gas, the Grafii, the Satitan, the Faulkner. Maybe I was wrong. The Quaxwell will not score. The Merrill will not score. Oh, oh and the Pikachu! Pikachu. Eggs. Bam! So uh, at least it's a full art card. I suspect bulk EX status here, even yeah. though it's the mascot. One dollar nine cents. Okay, I'm pretty so, okay rounding. So two points overall there for Wilhelmina to eighteen points on the season. But that actually does move them. No, that doesn't even put them into the top five of water. But Darn the top it. six, they passed Rab Rangoon. Well, there we go. There we go. Well, you got a cool Pikachu card headed your way either yes, you way. Do. Well done. Who is leading the team competition? Is it still uh, Lightning? Let's take a peek here. The team Electric. Yep, yeah. Team Electric with 198 points overall, thanks to uh, Carly and Money Man, or Mooney Man, in those top spots, uh, first and second place, respectively. Team Water is in second with 129. Team Grass, 85 points. And Team Fire, 78. <coughs> Man. So looking looking for a comeback. Emerald Phoenix uh, definitely kind of carrying some weight there for Team Fire at the moment. No doubt. All right, next up we have Annika like Harmonica with six points on the season. Let's see if they can go score some big points for Team Water here. They're just chasing down that uh, Team Electric for the uh, the season commemorative pin if you're on the winning team. Bam, Eyeball Energy, not gonna get any multiplier here, but the Relore will score, the Tad Bulb, the Fridgebacks, Quaxwell, Faragariff, Faragariff, uh, the Tyrantar does score. score, the Calamorous Wasteland will not, oh, and Miascarada! Nice! That's fun, so Very at least cool. some points going there. Number 15, and I think this is the highest scoring card on the front page, at $2.11, so it does so round up to three, three, four, five, six. Nice! There you go, uh oh, it's a back-to-back uh, -back six point pack. Oh, man! Play that lovely animation. <laughs> All right, oh, you should sleeve the Miascarada. Oh yeah, that, that's absolutely correct, thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I like to think that, uh, like, he'll just have, like, a broken animation graphic that pops <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> animation did not function. Yeah, whoops. Oh, well. 404 error. All right, uh, next up is Mots! Oh, another uh, victim of the, the the mod curse. The mod so curse. So far. Has yeah. not scored more than 12 points in a season thus far, so poor Mots here. Though it has seven going on, so a chance to have his all-time best season ever. All right, Mots, let's see like, what Even we can in the Crown Zenith season, Mots only pulled six points. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. People were pulling some heavy stuff, and that's, uh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so we got the Slowpoke, the Litleo, the Rockruff, the Palmy, the Pyroar, the Luxio, the Luminous <laughs> Energy, the Slowpoke again! Oh! Critical hit! Critical hit! Another critical hit for the mods! There we go! The Fletchender will not score in and the, the Tegan Ton! Oh no, it's the same story as Dakota! They got the crit but could not capitalize it! Come on! It's two points! Wow! How can it be? How is this the case? Why are the mods so bad at pulling cards? Oh my gosh, well either way, mods, those cards headed your direction. That's Congratulations so and enjoy! Enjoy indeed. Alright, you know we have one more mod coming up here for the last pack, but right now we have Kelly K! at uh, five points on the season. Let's see uh, what Mott's missed out on had we just, you know, switched orders. Had we just switched orders. The last We're about time. to find out. It's always so devastating to think that you could have been that close. Right. Although we don't know yet. We don't know. Kelly Ken coming into the day with just five points. Rock is pummeling. Sprigatito will yeah, score. Quaxley, Charcuto, Relore scores. The Palmo, the Tinkatuff, the Bravery Charm, the Tinkaton will score. Oh! The Brigoraph! Wow, I actually love that artwork. That is extremely cool. That is super cool. Uh, and the Backscalibur. So, man, yeah, much better pack overall. Let's see if the Fragoriff is uh, worth anything. Let's see, number 228. To on add insult set. to injury, they pulled the same rare card as Mott's as well. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, so 499 <clears throat> for the Fragoraph. Oh, man, so um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Amazing. So much better. Sorry, Mots. Mots is just like, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. Kelly K is gonna pocket that Faragariff. Gonna show it off to probably everyone she ever meets. I, I suspect so. Yeah, probably keep became it, her new favorite Pokemon just now. Keep it in their wallet, you know, just just carry it around, just in case. You never know exactly. when you can show it off to literally everyone. Literally everyone. And we're down to our final pack of the day. It is Doe, yet another uh, mod. This is, I guess, this is the mod 
week. The mod week, Here, the mod see. episode. Yeah. Now, Doe has done a little better than some of the other mods. Last season, she got up to 24 points. That's pretty solid. Pretty impressive. Otherwise, has not performed very well. We'll see if we can pull some last pack magic for her. The Satanel! There we go. Another makes another appearance. We got the Nackley, the Fue Coco, the Zwilus, the Spider Ops will score, the Pyroar, the Paldean Whooper yes. will not score, the Gothita will not score, and the Slack King. Oh, there we go. So just three points. Just three points. points for Doe. Hey, you know what that means, though? It's a three point pack back to back. <laughs> <laughs> Well done to do. All right, six points on the season. Thanks so much to Ethan for all of his amazing editing work in this particular episode. We really appreciate that. Everybody be sure to give Ethan some love <laughs> in the comments down below. As ever, if you are interested in becoming a Box Breakers patron, uh, you can check out the links in the description down below at patreon.com slash Gaming and select any of the Box Breakers tier. tiers. If we are sold out or on a uh, particular type that you would like to be a part of, uh, we also have a wait list listed below and we will be sure to let you know as soon as this spot does open up. But otherwise, guys, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!